Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have a balanced rack, non bingoy I should be able to score with the J and the K, something like Jerkin or Jinka or Jink, all available. Onto a Y, I would have Jerkily. So, if opponent passes, I will play one of my six-letter plays, Jinka or Jerkin, and probably Jinka to avoid the G hook. I don't think there are any eights with this rack. Okay, Viold doesn't take a hook. I don't think any of these floaters give me a bingo. I'm not sure any would. So, where to play? Do I have a double-double? I don't think so. But I can play Jinka for 34. Pretty good, quite balanced. Slightly too many high scoring tiles for there to be a bingo here, I think. Although I do have the L for the LY ending. And I do, I also have the ABLY ending. So let me consider the available floaters. Not seeing anything with the L or the D. Pi Baldy, not good. How about the R? That looks like it goes fairly well with this rack. Perry Boli is good. And the E. Okay, I'm not seeing a bingo. And I'll be looking to play off at least two of the high scoring tiles. My Y can go underneath the K. So, what do I have? Well, I'm not seeing anything which uses another of the scoring tiles. And B and P don't go particularly well together. So I'd like to split them up if I can. I could play Yap above Jinka. I could play I could play B Day. Well, opponent's gone in that spot. Does that alter what's available with the Y? M double E is good. So I could have a play beginning Y E A. Now I'm running into the same problem of not being able to play off the B or P. What about playing over the top of Mem? And also I could play in column 14 because Mem takes an E. Just wondering if I've got a play which gets the Y tripled. That would score quite well. No, I don't. I have Bayali, but M Mem does not take an A. So P or Y can go above E, R. B, P, not good. So I do have Yap in that spot. For 30 points, decent score, an OK rack leave. Yap only takes an S. I am opening up column 15, but only for an S in third spot. I am going with this. Well, another scoring tile in the H, which doesn't go great with the B. Not seeing a 7 with this rack. Hideable. I have hideable. Does it play? Well, yes, it does. Row B, because Ayer is good. Wow. Will that stay available? I don't think it goes anywhere else. An opponent may play a three-letter play across the top of Yap to take out column 15, and that would inadvertently scupper my bingo. 
So what about the other floaters? Not seeing anything. I've got head as a prefix, so bill head I think is good. Now opponents play tau, fantastic. So hideable remains available. For 84 points. Now, is there a bigger overlap available? I don't think there is. Wow, I draw the first blank. Rest of the rack not so bingo -y, but I may be able to play off the W and the X, and then what's left certainly will be. Aya takes a G in front of the tiles that I've got. I may struggle to play off W and X together. Wax is available in column 9, and I'm prepared to sacrifice points to get rid of W and X because the rest of the rack is bingo -y. And as soon as I got the blank, I'm wanting to clear out the non bingo -y tiles to get a bingo down as soon as possible. So I've got wax in column 9, wax in row, sorry, wax in row A. Both could be blocked and likely to be blocked. But if the opponent places a tile above this eye, wax may play in row C. So supposing they are all blocked, I do have an S for yaps. But I don't think I can use that to play the X. And I don't think I've got any good G plays. Nothing which uses the W or X without burning the blank. And Grex, I don't think is going to score enough. Okay, great. My Wex spot remains available and only seven points for opponent. Fantastic. And if I draw junk, I've got the G for Gaia. So Wex for 27. I draw junk to some extent. I do have cheese on my rack in column 15 and chins in row C, so this is not going to hold me up. Either of those plays is going to leave a decent rack leave and I have a 100 point lead. Through a U I would have Goo Chins. Any other Q spots on the board? Well, only Chi and Tai. Well, that doesn't score very much. Chins is quite nice in row C, it creates a new bingo lane. Now, what if I use the blank as a U? Could there be a bingo? I think I'd need a floating vowel. Wow, 59 points for opponent. And that makes my Q play easier because one of the spots has gone. So chins for 32. Pretty good. I have aguises and aguised. They play next to the D of Viold. I have Disusage in row H. Gordy's is a 7. Do I have a play which ends in D? Surely I do. Probably ending ED. Not seeing it. How about a play beginning with S? I have Age Usia as a seven. Wow, fantastic bingo for opponent, 95 points. Takes out my disusage spot. Creates a new spot for that in column four. I don't think a juicic is good. Let me come back to the yaps spot. Do I have anything beginning with S? I'm going to quickly run through the alphabet, looking for sevens. That's aguised, and of course Causey has, has taken out the seven letter lanes, but I do have a bingo in my back pocket. 
Wow, I trail. Still looking for a seven, beginning with S. Gosh, that looks close. Q U, not seeing anything there. Sorgia, not good. No, well, Aguizes, but it doesn't begin with an S. Do I have anything beginning or ending with C and probably beginning? I would have the ING ending. No, not seeing anything. So maybe disusage is all I can manage. Only 66 points. This could be an instance where there's a better bingo, which is massively better. Just wondering about holding on to the blank and playing in row D using my eye underneath the queue. But I'm not seeing anything great there. Okay, I am going with this. Wow, what a pickup. That is sensational. I draw the second blank. I surely am bingoing again. Not seeing anything with the blank as an S in first place. I have iodates and toadies. No Z something S plays. What about a play beginning or ending in C? This is slightly vowel heavy. So I may struggle, but I'm confident I have something. I have Godesias in row L. But a play beginning with C would score much, much more. Catanoid blank gets doubled. Does catanoid have an anagram actioned? Okay, that doesn't get tripled. So this rack plus a C. Not seeing anything further yet. 13 minutes on my clock. Wow, that looks close. Well, as does that, I have the com prefix. That's my catenoid rack. It would be, well, I was going to say nice to end in C, but actually a play down from the C disrupts the floaters in disusage. Keratoid, yep, that will do. And pretty good. I think footier may be good, although footy may just be an anagram. Wow, fantastic bingo for opponents. Let's see if footier stays on the board. And it does. Sensational. So I'm back in the lead, about 100 points, and I've drawn another pretty good rack. Only 10 tiles to come. Board wide open with all these bingos. I have the full ending. So train full through an R. What about the S? Not much... Well, no ability with the left-hand side floaters of a word beginning UN. So let me consider the footier floaters. 12 minutes on both our clocks. So this rack plus a T, not seeing anything. Vowels don't look great. Well, what about an E? Just looking at the remaining tiles, not massively bingo -y, but not hopelessly non bingo -y. And what about the R? Gosh, Flauntia and Ultrafine, both nine-letter plays. E, no. 
K. No, M E. No, okay, I may not be bingoing again. Fid is good, so I've got F, double A, and Fid. And when you've got a hundred point lead and opponents really only got one bingo left in his locker, I think, then 20 and 30 point plays should be enough to see me over the line. My F can, or can also go next to the I, but I don't have an E for going next to the R. Am I missing a bingo here? Now, I haven't considered the G. No, anti-flu. I think I have a seven on my rack. Are there any seven-letter lanes? Column 13, well, that doesn't work. And nowhere else, maybe opponent will create one. So I didn't see anything with the G. What about the D? No. How about these pairs of tiles R and S? Nope. A and A. Doesn't look likely. T and G. No. O and E also doesn't look likely. So. Now, row N is a seven letter lane for an S hook, but all the S's and blanks have gone, and I don't think there are any other hooks for disusage. Ten minutes on opponent's clock. Wow, I think I had three back to back bingos disusage, keratoid, and footier. Now, opponent does create a new lane. Does anti flu play? No. And nothing through these two letter sets. So, 12 minutes on my clock. Do I have anything in column 15? My F no longer goes next to the I, but my L can. No, because I still don't have an E. Nothing that I've got goes in front of OI. So, eight tiles left. I could play... Fault. Twenty-two points. And that's with a view to turning over tiles. What about a play down here to take out floaters? Twenty-four points, decent rack leave. Not many vowels left, so this is quite a good quite a good leave. I may be missing a bingo here, which will be annoying. Now, Inflatus is good, but does that have an anagram? I think it does. 11 minutes on my clock. Inflatus. Maybe it doesn't. That was just a late scare. Is it the right thing to do to take out lanes. Well, I think if I'm going to bingo, I need to play off F and U. And I can't do that with the FID spot. I don't think this gives much away. Fun for 24. Pretty grim. I draw three consonants. Not surprising, given the vowel shortage. Ugh only takes S and H, so I'm not creating a spot for opponent. Great, just four points. Still no E. Well, there's only one E to come, so that's why there's no E for going next to the R of footier. This rack has become a lot less bingo-y. So, bid is good. I could play blad, which is nice. Three tiles left. So I can play dip. And opponent can't use this ID hook with any 
well, he could put a C or a G, but those aren't huge tiles. Just wondering if I should empty the bag. Twenty six points. Bid takes an A, but that's only a six letter lane. This is quite a nice four letter set. I'm probably going to draw an O or may draw an O. Okay, I think this is fairly academic because the game is won. So I'm not going to spend long, long, any more time agonizing over this. So I do draw an O. I empty the bag. Opponent's got junk. Do I have anything through this R? Wow. This rack looks like it does go well with the R, but I'm not seeing anything. I would have optimate through an M. I do have the E for going next to the R. And the point about emptying the bag is that opponent now knows exactly what I've got and can plan it out in two. So he's got R goal through the R. Do I have anything through this T? No, not seeing anything. Eight minutes on my clock. Anything beginning with N, E? No. Anything beginning with D? What about dioptate? I think it's dioptrate. But let me just see if this stays on. It does not. Okay. So I no longer have the L for oil. Nothing hooks UG. Opponent seems to have blocked this R, so maybe I did have a bingo through that. What about a play with S and R? No, not saying anything. Do I have a six out of play ending in A? Not that I can see. So, do I block opponents low scoring out? I think I do. 15 points. Well, this doesn't feel like something I can go out with myself. So, six minutes left. Let's see if I can do something a bit better. Probably other ways of blocking this out, but does opponent have an out elsewhere? He has, he has Glower. So maybe I need to play through this T. Seven points. I then have Tet, which does play bottom right. OK, and also in column four, so I'm definitely going out. Have I blocked opponent from going out? Well, let's find out. I don't think he's got a, or he doesn't have a four letter play. But he may have an out elsewhere on the board that I haven't spotted. Just looking around to see what he's, what he's got. Great, I have stopped him going out. So Tet for 17, is that best? It may not be, but it's pretty good. And the final score, 393 for my opponent, 513 for me, a winning margin of 120 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Great to win and great to get over 500 points. So it was my opponent to go first and he plays Viold. And I play Jinka. That looks fine. Opponent plays Mem. Wow, a Yelp, that's nice. B14. Ah, putting the P on this triple letter square rather than the Y. What do I do? I play Yap for 30, so a Yelp better, even though it 
is providing greater access to column 15. Opponent plays Tau. And I have Hideable, which was the only bingo, so delighted to spot that. Opponent's rack plays Van. And A5, Wex. That was my play. Opponent plays Grizz, and now there's just 50 points between us. C3, Chins, that was my play. And this was a fantastic bingo by opponent, Corzied. Instead of being miles ahead, I am suddenly trailing. Now, all I could see was disusage. Well, that's there for 66. Six more points on offer. G3, through the U. Auguries, nice. Getting the G doubled. Oh, and there's H Usias, which I considered. Ah, oh, but that's in column two, which I would like to avoid because it provides access to triple word squares. So really a, a ton of bingos here, all scoring about the same. Opponent with a lot of vowels plays key. And here we go. This is my second back-to-back -back bingo and Ker Keratoid scores the most. Another fantastic spot by opponent of Shonin for 101 points. Wow. So my lead, just 16 points. But I've drawn another bingo. H14, footier for 81. And that also plays at G14, one square higher up for a lot fewer points. So that gave me a 100 point lead, only 10 tiles in the bag. They're not particularly bingo-y. And opponent doesn't have a bingo rack. Plays Al. Phew, no missed bingo to disgrace myself at the end here. I play fun for 24. And I think that's fine. Opponent's rack, horrible. So he's playing E double R just to balance his rack slightly. My rack, what do I do? I play Blad for 26, but G5. Wow, I could have played Tepid. I realised that Ugg didn't take any hooks that were, that were left. I didn't consider playing down onto the FA spot, but Tepid was there for 38 and would have been a good play. Opponent plays Tact. And finally, J12. Ah, I have a P for Poi. Interesting. But any play through that A would allow opponent to go out with Argol, which I was blocking with Patio. And opponent has no out, so I think that was the play, despite the massive score differential. Opponent plays goal, and I have Tet for 17. So, what a game. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I felt that I'd got off to a reasonably good start, and then opponent plays Corzied for nearly a for nearly a hundred points to go into the lead. But I was amazingly lucky to have three back-to-back -back bingos, such that even when opponent had a hundred-point bingo of his own, I still came out a long way in front and was able to hang on as the bag looked pretty grim. So all good fun. Many thanks to my opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.